Hey guys, this is Mike with Survive Today. And uh, my brother and I were talking about some, something recently that we call Prepper Syndrome. So we wanted to discuss it with you and see if you're having the same kind of feelings, the same syndrome as we are. Um, it's something that you have to really guard against. Uh, the reason that we're preppers generally is because we agree that uh, whether it's a uh, terror attack, uh, whether you think it's a false flag attack or not, or an economic collapse that our current system isn't going to last much longer. And most people who have studied history and they look at our current economic Ponzi scheme, this house of cards, say that when it comes, uh, when it hits the fan, it's going to most likely be very sudden and quick. Uh, although we're looking for it to happen, when it hits, it's going to be like wham and that's it. And Every day that we watch the news or, or, or we, we you know, click on the news or we're watching TV or reading the papers, we see these same morons <laughs> talking about, uh, well, we might head into a double dip recession, as if we ever got out of the first one, or uh, talking about the economy strengthening, or talking about good news with unemployment claims not being as bad as they thought they were going to be. Uh, and, and you wonder, how can they keep putting an optimistic spin on things when we know that our, our days are numbered, unfortunately, for this economic system? And the more you see this the, and, and you look at it on a daily basis, basis, I guess they call it cognitive dissonance, where reality and what you're seeing are, are not matching up. Um, the more we see that, the more we find ourselves actually waiting for or even wanting bad economic news. And if you think about it, that's horrible <laughs> because who wants there to be a collapse? You know, only a, a, only a very young, inexperienced and foolish prepper who's into his guns and, and thinks of himself as Rambo it wants there to be an SHTF event because he, in his foolish youth, thinks that it's going to be great because he'll rise to the top with his Rambo mentality and his guns. Those of us who've been around any length of time know that it's going to be pretty horrendous for all of us, no matter how well we're, we're preparing. So why is it that we actually catch ourselves looking forward to it? Um, and that's something that, that we, we refer to as prepper syndrome. You aren't really looking forward to a disaster, but you're looking forward to the day when reality and what we're seeing with our own eyes finally match up. When everyone says, okay, you know what? The emperor has no clothes. And uh, that's something that we have to guard against because we, we will find ourselves hurting ourselves unless we guard against that, that cognitive dissonance between what's happening in reality and what we see or what people perceive as what is happening. And then the other thing is uh, just being depressed. Because if you do look at all the news and all the news is bad on that day, um, it can, and, you, and you really stare in the face uh, what is our country is headed for, it's a big bummer. So on the one hand, we can get depressed, which we may or may not even be aware of uh, consciously, and wonder why we're depressed when we're focusing on doom and gloom all the time. And on the other hand, we could find ourselves looking forward in some weird, perverse way to that very doom and gloom coming about. So all that to say, one of the most important part of your preps as a prepper is not just to have a deck of cards in your bug out bag so you have something to do in case you are stranded or you have to leave your home and you need some entertainment but also to be very intentional now about uh, having some kind of entertainment or diversion or some times where you get together with people and goof off and let off some steam because these are some very serious times we're living in. And prepper syndrome, if you're not careful, will pull the rug out from under your feet. So something to think about. Until next time, I'm Mike. Take care.